Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I share with you how to make an amazing high growth oil that has helped me grow my edges. I had really damaged edges here, guys, just like you could see. But look at my edges now, like my edges are so full, which is just literally amazing. It also has helped me retain length and grow my hair a little bit longer than what it used to be like. So I just thought I would share this with you guys, and I'm actually really excited for you guys to try this. And I do believe that if you use it consistently enough you will definitely see results so if you're interested definitely be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video so don't miss out on any good information so let's hop right into the video guys now the first ingredient for this recipe will be some moringa powder now moringa is a powerhouse ingredient for our hair guys because it's very rich in minerals including zinc which is essential for healthy hair production it also has antioxidants that are known to help boost keratin production and help to restore strength to our hair promote hair growth and repair damage which is absolutely fantastic so i used about a tablespoon of that like i always say guys modify these quantities to your own preference so the next ingredient will be some nem powder nem powder is actually really good for our hair as well because it helps in clearing dandruff cleansing the hair scalp treating hair lice, conditioning the hair, strengthening the hair follicles, adding volume to our hair, shine, basically like all of that amazingness. Um, so really good and worth introducing into your regimen if you're not doing so already. And then the next ingredient will be some aloe vera powder. Now you guys know how much I love aloe vera. Aloe vera is really, really good. You can use the actual aloe vera leaf if you have it, or you can use the the powder just like i have here now the powder is probably better because it's your oils is more likely to last for quite a long time now aloe vera is really good because it contains vitamin a c and e and these vitamins are known to contribute to cell turnover promoting healthy cell growth and shiny hair it also has vi uh, vitamin b12 and folic acid which is certainly known to keep our hair from falling out, which I think is just amazing. So again, I added a tablespoon of that, and then we're gonna go in with a, about a cup of olive oil. Now you can use coconut oil for this if you want to, or I don't know, argan oil, uh, avocado oil, like any other oil of your choice. I usually prefer to use olive oils in my DIYs because I just love how it makes my hair feel and also how it adds volume to my hair. So yeah, I added that and then I stir that in together um, until everything was nice and combined. So after that was done guys this is what it looks like I decided to use the double boiler method uh, just so I could extract the goodness in these powders even more now I did not do this for a long time I think it was about 10 minutes if you want you don't necessarily have to do the double boiler method to be honest you can just go ahead and strain your oil um, like that without you know popping it on fire but I do prefer to always you know pop it on fire a little bit just so I can get m most of the uh, nutrients into the oil um, so yeah I didn't leave it for too long um, so after that guys this is what it looks like I just allowed it to cool down and I'm pretty much ready to strain it I'm using a clean um, recap here to do this or uh, you can use any other thing that you've got it could be um, a tea towel stocking cap like anything that you've got available but you need to make sure that the holes of your sieve is fine enough because th this is th these are powders so uh, they're quite fine so you need to also use a fine cloth in order to um, to remove all of the debris out of it so I just pop that on there and essentially just drained it you know so i just lifted the whole thing and allowed the oil to just naturally uh, drain into my jar um but i think at some point i actually went ahead and squeezed it as well because i felt like it was taking a little bit of time to actually get through um i mean to actually get all of the oil out so go ahead and squeeze it if you want to. You are still going to get most of the debris out anyways, just like you will later on find out. So 
so this is what was left behind guys this is basically the debris you can see that we've got pretty much most of it out um so you can actually keep this and use it as a mask if you want to but i just decided to throw mine away um so yeah that's pretty much it and then this is what is left behind so you can see your oil is a little thick in consistency which is fantastic like i just think this oil is is, is amazing it's the bomb um yeah it's a bit thick in consistency uh, but that's okay so we're now going to go in with some uh, essential oils now these are optionals uh, optionals this these oils are optional so you don't have to use it if you don't have it um, and using essential oil essentially does just helps you know a little bit more at stimulating the scalp because it increases the blood flow to uh, to your scalp which means more opportunities for your hair to grow like I always say but it's optional guys you don't have to use this this oil is potent enough on its own without the essential oils but i just love to use essential oils because of their amazing benefits now i use the same essential oils pretty much all the time so rosemary essential oil tea tree and peppermint essential oils are my fave because they are definitely amazing at stimulating hair growth and also tea tree oil has anti uh, bacterial properties so it really helps to keep you know the bacteria away from your scalp which can essentially which can is essentially contribute to downdraft. So really, really important to always have a clean or healthy scalp because essentially that's where your hair grows from. And if your scalp is unhealthy, your hair is not going to grow um, properly or perhaps to the same extent that it could have if you had a healthy scalp. So this is what the oil looks like, guys. We're now ready to apply it to our hair. Now I'm just showing you guys in this part how I'm applying this oil to my hair and basically the best way that you can maximize growth and uh, retain length so i would definitely suggest that you keep watching so that you don't miss out on this at the moment my hair is braided um i've had this con is it not convoys braids uh, for about two weeks now so it's a little it looks looks a bit old okay but i'm not ready to take it down yet because i'm trying to um protect the star as much as i can now especially that i'm back at work and things are a little bit hectic to be honest so um low manipulation is definitely the best way to for me to go right now um so essentially you can apply it to your hair at any in any form that it is so if it's uh twisted convo like anything as long as you can reach your scalp you're fine so i'm just working the oil through to my scalp here guys massaging really gently now just like i showed you at the beginning i don't know if you guys picked that up when the oil sat for a little bit um it was it's sort of like the oil was at the top and then i had some stuff at the bottom so a bit of the powder at the bottom so if that happens to you guys just stir it properly before you use it um it doesn't mean that your oil has gone off or anything uh, it's just because the powder is heavier it's heavier than the oil so it's going to sit at the bottom but that's absolutely fine so yeah work the oil through your scalp you know including your edges massage that on there really nicely now i always emphasize the importance of scalp massages i just think it's fantastic a stimulating hair growth because it improves the blood circulation to your scalp area which essentially brings more nutrients to your follicles so always always important to massage your scalp guys you can actually invest into scalp massaging brush if you want to i've always massaged my scalp with my fingers and it's always done a fantastic job for me um but if you want yeah invest into a scalp massaging brush and certainly you will not regret it i tell you like massage your scalp regularly and i promise you that you will definitely notice that that area of your your scalp for example that didn't have enough hair that you find that your hair is starting to grow there um, and also thicken so really really good so I'm just massaging that gently and yeah I've done that for about five minutes and that's pretty much me done uh, applying this to my hair I'll suggest that you use this oil if you're trying to grow certain areas uh, perhaps twice a week minimum and massage as you're using and then that should be it so leave it in your hair or you can also use it as a hot oil treatment if you want to perhaps once a week so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope you've enjoyed watching today's video thank you so much if you stay till the end of the video i really do appreciate it if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up 
and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already guys leave me a comment as well i do read my comments and i do intend to answer them <laughs> always answer them uh, to the best that i can um and also share the video with somebody you believe could benefit something from uh, from the video and i'll catch you in my next one so do take care bye